Hey guys, it's an absolute beauty of a day here in the harbor. 70 degrees, the sun's out, not much wind, slick as glass. I couldn't ask for a better day to get out and experiment. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna put two, two antennas up. I'm gonna do a co-phasing experiment with two, I, I've got telescopic whips. I'm gonna measure them out to be quarter wavelength for the 10 meter band and spread them away from each other, a half of a wavelength. What that should do is give me some direction, directional bi-directional I should say um, from the way I'm going to set it up at about 165 or so degrees should shoot me right across the Caribbean and through the heart of South America and then up towards Canada it'll kind of null out um, the west coast and it'll null out Europe for me but what I'm trying to do is I want to see how directional these this whole theory really is I don't want to go too far into the theory I'm going to put a link below to a really great video by um, unfortunately a silent key, uh, W1GV, or as he would say, Whiskey One, good vibration. Um, Stan was a great, great spirit and a great ham and a great Elmer. Uh, if, you if you've never watched his videos, subscribe and, uh, and go back and look at his body of work. Let's let Stan live on forever here in our, uh, in our youtube world of ham radio because he really has a great video so i'm going to leave leave it to that let you look at that link for a more in-depth look at the theory between co-phasing two quarter wave vertical antennas just know that what i'm trying to do is with these two they're going to share the ground plane i'm going to make sure they both have the identical ground plane below them the two quarters i'm going to tune them put them up like I said, a quarter wavelength vertical, they're going to be a half a wavelength apart. Now, through theory, that should give me like a figure eight uh, direction off of, uh, for basically for me, which will be north and south somewhat. So I'm going to put that up and uh, let's see if we can make this thing happen. Uh, cool thing is right now, there is a contest going on that favors me. Uh, everyone's trying to make contact with the U.S. right now. So that should help me get some really quick context and i really should be able to see with all the people out there trying uh, to get this way uh, really which direction my signals are coming from stick around okay here you go here's the setup and uh wow it's really cool and uh it took me a while i'm not gonna lie what i did with each one of the uh, telescopic whips, I, uh, I brought my X5105 with me and uh, adjusted each one individually with a single coax. I adjusted the SWR, so that's uh, how I did that. Um, you're asking what uh, I'm using. I'm using the Chameleon Antennas uh, telescopic whips, so there they are. Okay, now, the science. I know people are gonna ask, I'm using a co-phase harness that i bought online believe it or not it was listed on a, on a truck stop shot uh, uh site online on the internet there is some science to this um if you uh know about co-phasing and phasing it's not just you just don't take two pieces of coax bring them together stick them in and it works this is a harness that has been thought out and designed this is for 11 meters um, so I'm hoping it will work. I will tell you this, I've got the Zygo G90 hooked up to it now, thinking that I needed the tuner. After tuning both antennas and checking FWR, it's flat, one to one, perfect. So um, that's cool, and I'm um, really, really excited about that. So anyway, there's the two together, there's the other side. I am facing directly, This I'm looking north right now, so south is behind me. So what I'm trying to do is basically get into South America. Um, if you can see these, it may be hard in the camera to see these, but there they are. So they are a half wavelength apart. Doing this, and the reason you can buy these uh, these harnesses, uh, this is a big deal back in the, uh, really in the 70s, and still to this day with truckers who like to uh, co-phase two antennas. Kind of gives them some directional gain forward and, and behind them as they're going down the interstate. And I know for some of them it just looks cool, but uh, that's a CB thing for sure. But there they are. There's the antennas, co-phased telescopics. And uh, I'm thinking now the nulls off of these, 
the one null on this end should be to Europe. I shouldn't hear Europe. The other side is going to be the West Coast. So let's just hope we'll prove this theory correctly is if I get a lot of South America, then it, it answers my question. Let's go. Charlie Tango, thanks. Zulu Fox 1 Alpha. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar 59K. 59 Victor Alpha. Zulu Fox 1 Alpha. Thank you. Kilo Papa 4 Junior Alpha. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. 59 Victor Alpha. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. QF sell your 59 Victor Alpha. Contest, Nancy, Papa 2, Japan. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Alpha Golf Oscar. 59 Kilo. Yes, Oscar Golf Oscar. OGO, your 59 Victor Alpha. QF sell Oscar Golf Oscar in Virginia. Thanks, NP2J. Okay, that pretty much went as planned, right into the Caribbean, uh, in that direction. Did not hear any Europe at all, and I was really surprised, um, because I looked, 10 still open in the Europe right now, and uh, the contest is still going on, so I would have thought that I would have heard a lot. Now, I know there was probably some things going on. I could hear some people coming back to people in Europe, but I couldn't hear Europe. I've got an idea now, so uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to put up put this thing up for 20 meters but what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it uh where it's at pretty much going to have it a quarter wavelength apart for 20 meters extend the telescopic whips to uh for a 20 meter a quarter wave vertical 20 meter now in theory this should make it go the other direction maybe i don't know let's just give it a try and see what happens okay here we go they are extended to be quarter wavelength verticals for 20 meters in the voice SSB portion. They are the exact distance apart as well, a quarter wavelength. So now we have pretty much perfect square, we could say, and uh, quarter wavelength apart, quarter wavelength high. This should be more in favor of me getting to Europe. I just checked the SWR, absolutely flatline perfect. I got the SWR actually even better uh, than I thought I would. Uh, really impressed with the SWR. So let's go see how it uh, reacts when we get on the air. This should favor, uh, should favor in the direction of maybe some Europe here. It's tr after getting late in the afternoon, 20 meters with the contest should be in that direction. I don't know if I did state this earlier, but uh, here we go. There is a, uh, now I split the, uh, I did have uh, wire running all the way one piece of wire for the uh, for the ground. I split it in half So I have probably about 17 18 foot of speaker wire down into the salt water. So each has its own individual uh, Ground now on counterpoise. All right, let's go see what happens nine alpha one papa, nine alpha one papa, Kilo four Oscar golf Oscar uh, you're five nine, Victor Alpha. Uh, five nine, Victor Alpha. Virginia, Victor Alpha. Yes, you are five nine, Virginia, Victor Alpha. You are 5'9", Victor Alpha. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. You are 5'9", Victor Alpha. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, your 59 Victor Alpha. Roger, sir, K4 OGO, thanks for Virginia, is that right? You got QSL, 73. Thank you, IOA, Victor. Thank you, 73. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Kilo 4, Kilo 4.
Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf 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 O